Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can probably tell, I'm already inside, so I'm gonna do the intro from in here. The old Rover sign above me there. So, we're in Coventry today for another video, which will be, well, it's live before this one. Um, uh, Riley, sorry, getting very distracted. Um, so I thought we'd take a good look around the Coventry Motor Museum while I'm here. So I try and get a bit of footage for you guys. I don't know if anyone's ever been, but it's like a walk through time of cars. Um, so you've kind of got all the history. I'm a bit of a geek. I do love, I do love a Motor Museum, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel while I've got your guys' attention and then I'm just going to get stuck right into this. So subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. Have you ever been here? What's your favourite point of call? I'm obviously not all the way around yet, so I'll try and catch as much as I can. But yeah, I'm, I like that. Yeah, I love it. I do love it. So also consider becoming a member of the channel. Um, it helps us out. Yeah, maybe one day we can have a museum. You know, we can all dream, can't we? I didn't think I'd have a workshop, but I do because of you guys. So look at this. I'll oh, shut up, let's just get stuck in. Well, oh, look at this for a workshop. Look at that. How simple that is. Look at that tiny little carburetor. See, back then, it, I know these are old cars, but the finishing on these wouldn't have been much better back then. And it's like, that was good. It was functional, it was good enough. And that is kind of where I go with the channel. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love a shiny car, and we're trying to build shiny cars, but they should just be used. They're a mode of transport at the end of the day. Yes, we cherish them. Yes, we enjoy them. But they're a mode of transport, so they should just be functional and usable. But look after it, enjoy it, take it to shows. It's not about who's got the best in my eyes because these guys back then when they bought these it was it was expensive to have a car you know and um yeah i think every car's got a story so you might look at that and go i prefer a lamborghini i'd have that any day over a lamborghini that's just so cool humber chummy two-seater <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna just keep taking you for a walk. I'm just gonna keep the camera on, I'll keep rolling, and uh, let's see what we can find. So me personally, I'm not massively into motorcycles. Um, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not massively into motorcycles, they're just not my thing. Four wheels is the best. Um, but I can appreciate a motorcycle, so if I can say, check this one out, I have no clue what this is. Rudge Willworth. But look how pretty it is. You have to appreciate just how nice that looks. Really, really cool. And this old one looks like it's been raced. One thing I've always noticed with motorcycles is I never actually realise how many names there is. So many different brands. We love an estate car, don't we, on Simpsons Classic. Look at that. Mrs. S, I want one of these. I love it, I love it. Look at the point on the window, how that comes out, that design. Right, so if I remember correctly, you kind of walk through the eras of cars and motoring. So, it's pretty dark in here. <laughs> yeah, so you've got bicycles. Like the very, very early cars. Got a little fuel pump on that. The next simulator ride, the first SSC, will be starting in 10 minutes. Please make your way to Gallery 14 with your. Alright, guys, I'm going to enjoy this. I've not got too long in here, so I'm going to kind of back round it and have a good look. But, um, I'll bring you in for points of interest, shall we? Um, first of all, that's very cool. 1907 standard. Look at that. That seat looks like your sofa. Wooden wheels. Different world back then. Different world. Oh, I remember how much I like this place actually. Look at that. Yeah, I'm at. It's a new engine to work on. Look at that. Look at the spark plugs. Yep. First point of interest. 
little workshop. We all have a workshop, don't we? Look at this. I'd love to have really, really old like this. Really, really old. So cool. Madness. Madness. Actually, quite a lot I love the museum. I'm a full on geek. I mean, the first cars built in their site and factory can be the first 100 pound car. Three years later, they were making 100,000 cars a year. In 1931, this is such a well presented museum. There, by the end of the decade, Hillman there were like two million. That's so cool. And even I really in want country, an old, a really vintage car. Like Morris and Austin in town, business grew. And yes, I would Stanley use it. Made 55, cars oh, look at this, guys. Nearly seven times more than in Look at this. Things were really ticking off. And not just business. Look at this, like a little sports car. What's this? It's an Alvis 1260. Streamlining wasn't just for boats and planes anymore. Very, very cool. Too. And when it met the Art Deco style... It's a sheer size of that over there. That doesn't show that on camera, but we'll get up close to it in a bit. But. Advertisers said the new designs were... I love the colours, the browns, the creams, the dark greens. Very classy. That thing is massive. It's a Daimler. Quick 1935 Queen Mary's Daimler. Look at that. Look at the. Does it even. No, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. It's enormous. I couldn't actually get that in the workshop, guys, so no, we can't have that one. 12 cylinder engine from a Daimler. Look at that flywheel. Another absolutely enormous car. It's another Daimler. Love the colour of that. So nice. More motorbikes, some triumphs. I'd like something like that. An old fuel pump. That's cool. Got another Humber. See, this is kind of the vibe that I wanted with the workshop. Just need to find all these signs. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. So cool. That's standard 16, but of all the uh, blackout lights that for during the war, because we are next to a massive army tank here. I say massive, it's a lot bigger than this car. God, look at that. You just think in the war that if you were driving around, you, you know, planes from above can see you. Honestly, it brings you, it just takes you back. It really, really does. So this is a, a blitz section, the air raid shelters. which I quite like. So we're like the late 60s, 70s now. Triumph Dolomite drink. I love one of them. Absolutely love one of them. I'd also like one of these, but a V8 one. I love one of them. But yeah. Maybe not in yellow. I'm not a massive yellow fan. Unless it's the Budget Club and Amber yellow. Yeah, we've got Triumphs over here. Loads of Triumphs. 
really cool to see these, all of these together. I mean, these are all, all Triumphs apart from the Grover there. It's so cool. It's a stag. Drive stag. That's a lovely colour. Hillman Avenger. See, I love the names of cars back in the day. Uh, what, what do you have now? Renault Kajar. No, it's not the same, is it? Just not the same. Daimler Sovereign. You know, that, you, when you say you drive that, you, you drive a good car, don't you? Look at that. <clears throat> I mean, when was the last time you saw one of these? Look at that. Try it for claim. Peugeot's, not a massive French car fan. We have got a Renault engine in the 340 mind, but... Oh, I love museums. Oh, now we're finding a car that we're pretty interested in. Mark 1 Metro. Look at that. 1980. The Mini Metro. The car they thought would replace the Mini. Didn't work, did it? Didn't work, did it, Rover? You had to keep the Mini going, didn't you? W Reg, 1980. Same year as my van, that. So they're making the Mini vans when they're making these. Mad, isn't it? Like, both pretty much the same car. But it's not quite got the same love and following, but these are definitely becoming collectible now, and this one obviously is immaculate. Really nice. Right, we're getting into a really good era of cars now, so I'll keep walking. Like I say, I'm batting around this today, so I don't have too long, but really, really good. So there's some cars I'm pointing at that you, you know, maybe missed or sorry, just obviously shout in the comments and we can maybe come back and have a good look at it. Look at that City of Coventry van, look at this. The size of that hearse. That's a Daimler. A Singer. Mrs. S would love this. Singer van. I'm just going to grab a shot of that. Mrs. S would love that. She'd also love this. Morris Minor van. There's a Royal Mail van. So cool. Look at all these horse and carts. <laughs> oh, this is very cool. It's Triumph Police Car. Not gonna lie, I do like a Jag. That colour's not for me though. Barbie. Coventry made vehicle. Left hand drive as well. Not for me that. Not for me. I would like something classic commercial like this, so I love my van. Sorry. What I'd love is a comma camper van. Like, this is cool, kind of comma vibes with it. And Atlas. That's so cool, isn't it? Little caravans. Rolls Royce on the door of that fire engine. This is a big garage, isn't it? Oh, and you can see ahead and you get excited. Oh, tractor, that's so cool. Love that. Some more army tank style things, not massively on these. Humber pig. <laughs> pig, bit mean, isn't it? Oh, Rover Rover. Good friend Graham would like this, look at that. Some buses. Alright, it's got the steps. Chance to trip over with you guys. You would definitely laugh if I tripped over, wouldn't you? You would. Oh, model cars. Oh, that's neat. I love that. Oh yeah, 
Mini. Mini. It's quite bad when you're looking at this, and this is in a museum, and you've got quite a few of these model cars. I've got quite a collection. Anyone knows the first one? Mrs. S, I need a bigger display cabinet. <laughs> this is unreal. Oh, these are cool. Very cool. Full on geek modes engaged, guys. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to come along with me for the ride now. More steps. I'm gonna definitely fall over here. Transport technology. Well, I had to stop the time lap there, didn't I? 1960. Lovely. It's Morris as well. Very, very nice. Matt, if you're driving, you like this. Slightly earlier than yours, but it's still a Morris Mini. Didn't make many Morrises. Made a lot less of them. It's quite solid, too. Original seals. Oh, we're going to full geek mode now. I love it. It's completely unrestored. That is so cool, isn't it? I love these early grills. Is that original? It looks like it is. I never noticed that on an early Mini. Original Lucas lights. Bonnet pulls even different. If you know your cars, you can just see it in there. It looks slightly different. Lovely little thing. I don't know what it is, but I want it. City wheeled electric car. Oh, maybe not. Very cool. Think about that, a motorbike engine in it or something. Put an A-series in it, proper A-series, proper engine. Sinclair C5, the Triumph. Rally car on its side. Because we don't do swearing on this channel, I'm like a pig in beep in here. Ooh. 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 Oh. Now I'm going to start a debate on here, just very quickly. I'm not into electric, classic vehicles. I get it's a future, I get that's where we need to go forward. It... Look, like for this one for argument's sake. Got no rear seats anymore, it's not a state, is it? All the batteries are in the back. I just can't get on board. You drive a classic car for the smell, the noise, and all that sort of stuff. I, I can't get on board with them, I'm sorry guys. So I'm not going to go on about it, but that's my view. We'll say one other thing. It's like taking the heart out of a car. It's just wrong. You don't do that. Just, yeah, no. Beautiful, beautiful car. Oh, not in yellow again, but what a car. Pretty, pretty car. This is bucket list car for me. Series 2 Jag. Very, very nice. Fab 1. Imagine that. Price of that thing. It's a motorsport section. Mm -hmm. F1 cars. Yeah, yeah, Early cars. Imagine racing that. Madness. BRM. So we actually watched BRM race cars uh, at Goodwood Revival. Different sound to everything else, honestly. That's very cool. The old Talbot.
from around the world this motorbike. Right? More steps. Honestly, I, hats off to people that curate these museums. Mad. Wow! Wow. This looks tiny on camera. So it's got its electric lorry. Look at this. If you hear me stop, I'm taking pictures. Oh my god, look at these proper jet powered vehicles. Wow. Bloodhound SSC. Wow. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without seeing one. Look at it. What's on the back of that? Morris Mini Thrust SSC project. <laughs> it's got like a framework on the back, which I assume had some sort of engine on the back of it. And it's got a mini subframe that's cut in half. You guys, I can't get you in far enough to see that. That is weird. Mitsubishi Electric. <laughs> what an odd little thing. I mean, I'm gonna say it. It's a bit of a record mark on Mini in it, but back in the day, these were nothing. Madness. Right guys, as we're at the Mini, this actually just marked the end of it, as you can see. It says exit, right by the Mini. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little jaunt to, uh, to the Coventry Transport Museum. I've really enjoyed coming here. I've, you know, I love museum. And to end it with jet-powered vehicles, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So these baffle me. I still don't quite understand the whole concept of it. I get that you just go fast in a straight line, but these are one-off build vehicles, basically aeroplanes, you know, it's just madness. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to see me do more stuff like this, I'll happily go to more car museums and take you with me. That's not a problem. I'm in full geek mode and I love it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, remember to also check out our sponsors. We have Mini Mine and Frost. So there's a discount code up for Mini Mine right now. So you can get 10% off your next purchase when you spend 15 pound or more. And there's a discount code for Frost as well. So please go check them out. And um, right, on to the next adventure.